All right, this morning we want to help settle some bets or at least resolve some disputes maybe with your significant other. It's amazing how the little things like household chores can cause big disagreements. So new this morning, John Shumway is tackling a couple of those issues starting with your dishwasher. John, I don't know if you're settling things as much as we're starting problems this well, morning. <laughs> there's always that possibility, Heather. So don't shoot the messenger. I sought out an expert on this from Consumer Reports and even Consumer Reports dishwasher expert Dan Rokloski says you have to tread softly when you start talking about how to load one of these things. For instance, my, my own mother-in-law insists upon pre-rinsing all of the dishes that go in the dishwasher and I've told her many times you don't need to do that. Only thing you have to do is scrape off, you know, large chunks of food, um, but you don't actually need to rinse them. Uh, most new dishwashers now actually have special sensors in them that can detect how dirty the dishes are and adjust the wash cycle accordingly. Your dishwasher has a filter that will catch anything significant, which you do need to clear occasionally or it'll smell. That's a uh, indicator that you need to empty that filter. As for loading, no layering. So for your top rack, you want things like cups, glasses, small bowls, and then any dishwasher safe plastics. It's really important though to make sure everything is nestled in those prongs because it'll just help to keep everything in place. On the bottom rack, Roklowski says it doesn't matter which direction the plates face as long as they're separated. You want to have things with um, cooked on, like, you know, baked on food. You want to have those also in the middle uh, face down so that the spray arm below can really get at those to get everything that's cooked on off of them. And mix up the silverware. And that helps to prevent nesting and prevent them from just, you know, clinging together and making sure that they get adequately washed. Yeah, and once it's all loaded, make sure you spin the spray arm that's hanging on the uh, top rack just to make sure it spins freely. If not, then you have to readjust. Otherwise, you could have problems. And so make sure that you keep the rinse aid filled to prevent any spotting. John, it's it's funny that you're talking about this because it is such a contentious topic in families. Mm -hmm. So you talked about loading. How about unloading? Is there a proper way, an important way to unload? There is, and I didn't realize I was screwing up all along. You always <laughs> unload the bottom rack first because the top rack, there could be water pooling. And if you dump that down onto the clean dishes, sometimes it contains some food particles and you don't want that on your clean plates, dishes and silverware below. I have done that. I have dropped water on the dishes below and never thought about fixing it. So you have pointed this out. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. I was going to say, is there, a, is there a right way to unload? Yeah, if somebody else does it. But I'm oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the right way in my house. It's one of my least favorite tasks. All right. Thank you, John. Good thing, guys.